What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to go over the three reasons why I think everyone should own the 51.8 Canon and explain how it performs with my Sony A7 Mark II. So Canon actually has made several versions of this lens over the years. The first versions were mainly made out of plastic. However, the STM versions, they actually incorporated some of the metal into the mount of the lens, as you can see here. So it's actually very nice. So the first reason why you should get this lens is because of the price point. It is really, really cheap. You can get it for $180 Canadian or $145 US on Amazon. So this means you can use it without really worrying about damaging it or dropping it accidentally. Compared to my 51.2, that's around $2,000. And if you drop that, you're gonna have a heart attack. And trust me, I dropped it before. So the second reason is that it has really great image quality. So it is considered a fast lens. What that means is that you can open the aperture really wide. That means it'll let in more light. So then you can actually increase the shutter speed to capture those fast moving or spur of the moment shots. It also has really great low light performance. And I've shot a lot of it at night and it's really great. I'll put some pictures up here so you can get a look of it. Also, if you're shooting at 1.8, you'll get pretty good bokeh and decent background blur. So that'll be perfect for shooting portraits or anything up close. So the third and last reason is the size of this thing. Like look how light and small this is. You can carry this anywhere. So I think this is a great fit for the Sony a7 Mark II. Like both of them are really, really small. If I'm comparing to the 51.2, it's like night and day. The 1.2 is super bulky, while as this, I can just almost like fit into my pocket. So this combination gives great professional results in the size of a point and shoot. The focus speed is pretty quick and the sharpness is not bad as well. I would say that this lens is even sharper than the Canon 51.4. I think this is a great camera for beginners and professionals alike because it is a lens that you want to keep forever. To be honest, I don't think most people can tell the difference between 1.2 and 1.8. Like you would need to take the picture and put it into Adobe Lightroom, zoom in and check the details to actually see the difference. I mean, most professionals would tell the difference, but the general public wouldn't. So because of the 50 millimeter, it is great for beginners to pick up because it is a really tight angle lens. So you can really learn about framing and teaching you about composition and also adjusting the depth of field. Also for professionals, this is a great lens to keep as a backup. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down below.